What do you need to know about the week ahead? Hi, I'm Claire Stone with your weekly angel and tarot guidance. Today is Sunday the 30th of May and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle for you from the Rider Waite Tarot. So hope you're all having a fab weekend so far. Tomorrow in the UK it's bank holiday and looks like it's going to be sunny. So that's always great. Right, let's see energetically what's going on for us this week. Tomorrow, please. Okay, so tomorrow we have got the Emperor card. So that is suggesting that the general energy around us is quite masculine and quite focused on masculine things, such as making plans, preparing, very, very intellect and intellect and logic it's not about the heart this card is kind of screaming out to me that maybe there is room for some more balance to even up this strong emperor energy i mean the emperor energy is fantastic if you need to get stuff done but it, there's always that um ability to switch off when when this card comes out it's like are you having enough fun are you spending enough time with your loved ones because if not, then the emperor can make your life as if it's just all about work, work, work all the time. And what we need is that balance. So if you are off tomorrow, try and switch off, do something different. Go for a nice walk somewhere, catch up with people, get the phones away and do something with, with people instead of just the mind all the time. So that's our first card. So being able to switch off. And then midweek, we've got the hanged man. So the hanged man is feeling a bit like things aren't moving as fast as you would like. And that is really marrying up with that emperor energy because the emperor, he wants to get it done. It's all about taking action where if you are a little bit more into your feminine within your heart, then you will be able to accept the pace and the rhythm of life because things don't always work out on our time when we want things. There's a perfect time for everything. And, you know, I'm a positive thinker. I love to believe that everything's always working out for my highest good. So remember, the hanged man, when Odin is hanging from the tree, this is when he attains enlightenment, when he exchanges his eye for spiritual wisdom, spiritual insight. So there's something to be learned about being in limbo, about things not working out. Again, it's about revisiting the shadow, isn't it? It's, you know, life isn't always a bed of roses. There's always stuff to look at. And if we just carry on to the next project and the next new thing and ignoring our feelings underneath what is actually driving our intentions, then we don't get anywhere. We just keep running out of steam. But if we can actually sit with how we are feeling and reflect and look at it, this is where the transformation is going to take place. That's where the gold lies, when you are in the limbo, when you are in between worlds. I don't mind the hangman card. So a bit of patience, a bit of going within. I think it needs a bit more feminine this week. This is what these cards are screaming out. End of the week, what have we got? The Page of Wands. So that is another masculine card. However, this is a positive card. And the, this is about getting excited about something new and something creative. Creativity is the feminine. So when I'm talking about masculine and feminine, I'm not talking about men and women. I'm talking about energies. And so this page is getting really excited about new things. He can finally see a little bit of new growth on the horizon. So if you have been planting seeds, if you've been applying for jobs or you've been investing in relationships and friendships, you're now going to see some rewards, something coming back that makes you feel excited. This card is also linked to travel. Now, I know we've got a lot of travel restrictions. However, this because it's a page, it, it's something in a, an immature form. So this could be you're going for a day out 
And that is what the first card, the Emperor, was talking about to get this lovely balance between your logical brain and your creative brain. That is where true happiness is found, where you can express yourself and also be intellectual and have the discipline to, to do things, to, to pursue what you want to create. So these are really good cards. I think this is a great week to get reflecting once again what you want to create, what's holding you back and why. It's about looking at these root these these root ideas where they come from your belies your beliefs so i'm going to pull um an angel card to go with this week's tarot so it looks like we're going to all be inclined to get work done and we need a little bit of rest to go with that a little bit of creativity and us time. Okay, oh yay, nice card, angelic protection. So these are Kyle Gray, Angel Guide Oracle, and everybody loves this card because it just looks like Archangel Michael, doesn't it? The blue ray angels of protection. So call in your angelic protection. Archangel Michael, if if you like, I like, and I think this card has several meanings. Number one, this is going in with that Emperor card once again, those masculine energies. Archangel Michael is the the angel that most people do call upon for protection because he's ready, he's ready for battle. And, but I also think that this card is saying that you are protected and it is safe for you to do things that might feel slightly uncomfortable because that is where the growth takes place in that uncomfortable place. If we keep doing what we're doing every day and we don't take any risks, then nothing's ever gonna change. Our life just stays like this. But if you have aspirations, if you want to create a better life for yourself, then again, it's going back to that shadow. And the so the angels are saying it's it is safe for you to do that to to visit your shadow and look at the uncomfortable stuff and work through it. And of course, you can ask the angels. The angels don't do the work for us; they do it with us. They support us. And you can ask Michael when when you these things come up within you when you want to be free from them. Then you can ask Michael to cut the energetic cords to help you. We're constantly releasing the layers and the layers because it's literally our brains are wired with these paradigms and our, our beliefs so it takes a repetition to let go of them lots of practice but michael's given us that strength he's telling us we can do this you've got this don't forget to call us in we've got free will we want to help call us in we'll protect you we are around you you are safe so there you go hope you are going to have a beautiful weekend and just a cheeky reminder that my book the female archangels this is the last two days where the ebook is on offer for one dollar ninety nine one pound forty four on amazon and then it goes back up to its normal price 12.99 so if you are interested in the ebook then go ahead and get it quick while it's a bargain and also my new meditation album, The Female Archangels Meditations. That is also half price at Hay House for £6.50 as well. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe. Love you all. Have a fab weekend. Bye.